Hey guys, I figured I should probably just make a video explaining what's been going on with the Dragon Ball Super Review the past couple weeks. Now let me explain. I like Dragon Ball, but honestly, the reviewing these episodes is not enjoyable. I'm gonna try, not this week, not this week's episode. I will not be reviewing this week's episode, but I will be starting my reviews again next week. Now, I may do like a live stream where I give my thoughts from the past couple episodes, but that is a 50-50% chance. But I guarantee you, on the next episode, 50 what? Let me check, uh, episode 50, episode 55. Episode 55, I will be reviewing that, and I will try to get back into the swing of things. But I just want to explain why I had not been reviewing Dragon Ball Super. Okay, so first of all, I had found this arc was ruined the moment they released the spoiler episode title. So the moment after they started releasing the titles and information around these episodes again, I felt like it really took away the thing I loved about the arc. I said it multiple times on air. I don't have real references, but I can tell you if you go look at my reviews and my discussion with other people, the best thing about this arc, the best thing about it, about the future Trunks arc, was that we didn't know what was going on. And we had no spoilers. Now, then we got spoilers, and then we started getting episodes that went like this. Plot point, filler, plot point. So with a plot point, we we'll get a dress. Then we get the random comedy filler kind of scene. We normally with the P-Lock game and with the P-Lock gang and Future Trunks or something like that. Or like a Mind Trunks filler moment or something like that in the middle. And then we get another plot point address. That is almost always how it works. They've been following the same formula for the past, like, three weeks. They're very predictable episodes, and we kind of know what order things will happen in. They're predictable, and I just don't find it interesting. I also cannot handle going into it every week and just saying, this is a problem, this is a problem, this is an inconsistency, this doesn't make sense. Like, I do know that in the latest episode, Pilaf claims, Pilaf is, like, being, she's not Pilaf, but in the latest episode, shoot. And claiming to know about image training because due to he knows about the training that Gina is doing with Trunks because of his ninja training. I'm like, no, you had no knowledge of anything remotely connected to the martial arts style of fighting Goku and the other Z warriors used. This would make incredibly prevalent in Dragon Ball when he was scared shitless of characters like Goku and the powers that they have, like the ability to make a Kamehameha wave. That scared them. That was the whole thing. They should not be like that. They did an inconsistency. And I hate going in every week. And just, I hate going in every week. And having to talk negatively about it. Because I will admit, I've been enjoying the episode more. When I don't need to go in and find the problem with it. I've been enjoying it more. It makes it a little bit more enjoyable. But it's still, it just, I, I had, I felt like super. All my reviews were like, this, this did that happen? This event happened, this event happened, and I gave my thoughts on each event, but, there was, oh, but the problems are never different. It's always really good, but then something doesn't, doesn't make sense, or there's a contradiction, or something like retcon. In the previous episode, nobody talked about it, but guess what? Kaioshin aren't trained. You're not trained to be a Supreme Kai. You're born a Supreme Kai. Toriyama said that in, in an interview. It's a retcon. And I'm just sitting here thinking, you know what, I don't want to make a video explaining why something is a retcon. I don't want to spend my review doing that, and that's all I spend my super review doing. I'm either talking about the episode with good, I'm nor I either talk about how it's good, or I just explain how things don't make sense. And I recap the boring event, and it just, I also feel like no offense to the people that think the painting is good. I think the painting has been garbage lately, I really do. Because I feel the main goal is to go with the Trunks' future to fight Black. We don't even know how, how that's going. We're all we're, we're f fucking around in the present. For no apparent reason. We're not fucking around in the present while they do that. And I feel like it's a waste of my time and it's a waste of your time. I expected us to be in the future fighting Black by now. So most of the summer, we, for most of the summer, we've been fucking around in the past. And that is pissing me the hell off. Now... There is no Super episode next week, so in two weeks, I will be doing my review for Super again. I'm sorry guys, I really am. I, I can't review Super. I cannot review it right now. I'll try reviewing it again, 
Maybe I can get back into the swing of things, but I'm not going to review Super, but it's a chore. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to review Super, but I'm not going to. If they're going to kill me, if they're going to make it so I can't enjoy the series, I'm not going to enjoy Super. It was a completely unedited video, my honest to God thought, and the honest to God reason why I had not been reviewing Super, and that I had not been motivated to do it, because I had, I had nothing to say, really. I had nothing new to say about it. I had the same thing to say every review. They knew Kai footage, didn't like that. Toei does, it just keeps on repeating the same mistakes that piss me off. They're not doing anything to fix them. It's not new problems that are ar arising. It's just the same problem every week. And I can't keep on critiquing it. I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. I can't keep on repeating myself every week. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to waste my time repeating myself every week or your time. I will try, not this week, not this week's episode, but the next episode of Dragon Ball Super, episode 55, where Goku goes to meet the Omni King, I will review that, because that sounds interesting. However, if they spoil what happened in the episode with spoilers and the titles and all that, I will be angry and there will be a video on it. But guys, I just really, I wanted to tell you guys the honest truth as to why I had not really been talking about Dragon Ball Super. If you're disappointed in this, I'm really sorry. I, it, was, I, it was killing the theory for me. I wasn't enjoying it. I was pretty much I was either saying great things or rant things. I, I, can't, I couldn't do it. I needed a break. But next episode, I will be back. But guys, I hope I, you know, I hope you, or I hope you, I hope you can forgive me. I hope you can forgive me for not delivering you the Dragon Ball Super reviews that I promised to give you. And for the, for the fact that I wasn't able to give that to you, I am very sorry.